Now for the finish. The AGM parts are all sprayed black. I believe it's a powder coat. It's going to be hard to get off. Either have to sand it or preferably bead blast it off. The Denix has a, a version of a coating kind of like bluing but kind of like a clear paint on top of it too. Now that can be stripped off with a blue and rust remover which the receiver is stripped. And after that's stripped off it can be re-blued. The grip frame is re-blued. Now since there's an assortment of different uh, metals it might be hard to get it all to match. The easiest way would just be to paint the entire thing black. Most of the parts are already black to start with and it'll still look decent when it's done. But if you strip off the original finish and go through the effort of either re or leaving it kind of in this in the white stage almost, it can get a very close to accurate finish. Well, since uh, the receiver is zinc. When it reacts with the blue and rust remover that has a phosphoric acid in it, it gives a very close resemblance to the phosphate finish used in later war. But some parts were also left in the white or in the white but with a clear finish sprayed on them. Usually it's only certain parts of the rifle that are phosphate or in the white and they're still blued components. If you look at the pictures of real rifles for sale, they can have an assortment of different parts in different finishes. So to choose which ones uh, you want a certain finish or try and make it look all as one, either way is still correct.